what's up everybody this is Steven with another pixel for life video tutorial today's tutorial is going to be somewhat quick but it is a user requested so let's go ahead and get started today we are going to be making a twirl a swirl a squiggly wiggly black hole whatever you want to call it pretty much it looks like uh, this whatever you want to call that so let's go ahead and cover a few different ways that you can do that. And the first one is probably the easiest. And I'm going to make a new layer. And just draw out a box. And I'm going to make it pretty large, actually. Let me just make that selection a little bit smaller. Then fill that with a dark gray. And then I'm going to go up to Filter, Distort, Distort, Twirl. Now here you can set the twirl to whatever you want. I'll just keep it at 999. Click OK. And as you can see, you have a pretty nice swirl right there. Now cutting it out is going to be a little bit difficult, but uh, shouldn't be too bad. You can probably just get the uh, ellipse tool. Just select this. And then just move it to where you want it. And then just mask it out or something. And there you go. You have a uh, it, it works. It's a little hard to uh, get to look how you want it to look, but that's good enough for now. And now another way is to just grab your pen tool, the trusty pen tool, and just make a selection. I guess something like this. I'll just make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Um, See, it's, it's hard to do. This is the more difficult way, but it uh, would get something exactly what you're looking for. But you get the idea. <laughs> Very fun. And then you can come over to your paths, right click, stroke the path, and there you go. You can get the basic basic idea. I wouldn't really recommend that as it's it's pretty difficult to get it correct. And then the last way, um, let me delete this path. Okay, so now the last way is the easiest, the absolute easiest. Come on over to your custom shapes, and for you it might just be this rectangle. Click and hold, and go down to custom shape tool. Now up in the shapes, you click it, and you have a large assortment of shapes. And if you don't have that many, you can click this little arrow and select all. Then you can replace it all. OK. And it will give you all of these. And right down here is right there, a spiral. Oh, one more new name for it. So grab that spiral. You can hold down shift, drag it out, or just drag it out in a weird shape like that. Do what you want. Oh, one more cool trick with the twirl filter is you can grab let's just grab a brush for now and then let's grab uh, a yellow all right and then go to filter distort twirl and you can see what's happening right there and you get a multicolor twirl so if I were to make one I would use that uh, filter or just the uh, the shape layer. It's all up to you, whatever you need to do. Alright, as I said, it's going to be a quick tutorial, but it was user requested, so I had to do it. If anyone else has a requested video, please post it in a comment, send me a personal message, email me, get in touch somehow, and I'll get it out to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching, and see you next time.